Report Man City 5 to 1 Wolves. Man City 5 Holland, 12 minute pen, 35 minutes, 45 minute pen, 54 minutes, Alvarez, 85 minutes. Wolves 1 Huang, 53 minutes. Wolves were swept aside at the Etihad, as the seemingly champions elect Manchester City ruthlessness saw off an old gold side without Gary O'Neill in the technical area. Erling Holland scored four on the night. Two first half penalties, following fouls by Ryan 8 Nori and Nelson Semedo, were punctuated by a guided header from the league's top scorer. As City went in for the break cruising, He Chan Huang momentarily had Wolves back in the contest when he pounced on an Ederson mistake, but Holland instantly restored the hosts' three goal advantage less than a minute later and Julian Alvarez completed the scoring late on. As Wolves lost on their penultimate away day of the campaign. When facing Manchester City, keeping it tight early on is essential, but after 11 minutes the hosts were handed the opportunity to take the lead from the spot. 8 Nori was late to Josco Guardiol, who had taken his shot, but was clattered by the Wolves' man. Up stepped Holland to send Saad the wrong way and claim goal number one of his first half hat trick. When a strong hand from Jose Saad kept out Holland's header, City were on top, but Wolves did enjoy a period of possession. Their confidence began to grow and Huang had glimpses of goal. Coming close to connecting with deliveries from both Mateus Cunha and Nelson Semedo, but Ederson remained untested. However, City were in the mood, looking like they were on their way to a fifth successive title. So when Cunha gave the ball away in a dangerous area, he was punished as Rodri trotted clear and whipped in a cross for Holland to nod home. It got worse in injury time too as a long ball over the top sent Holland scampering clear. And he was brought down Semedo. It looked a clear penalty, with the Wolves man clipping Holland, but Craig Pawson required a VR check to make the decision. Up stepped Holland. Who went to Saw's right again, and although the goalkeeper did too, the strike was too powerful. Halftime Man City 3-0 Wolves. Five minutes after the interval, Wolves were thanking their goalkeeper with Sa getting down low to deny Foden, and for a moment they were back in the game. The old gold worked the ball to halftime substitute Jean Rickner Belgard down the right and his cross tempted Ederson out. But the goalkeeper didn't connect firmly, and Wong was perfectly placed to knock the loose ball into the net. However, that joy was extremely short-lived and less than a minute later City restored their three-goal advantage. Foden clipped the ball over the top for Holland, whose touch was perfect and finished deadly, whipped into the far corner beyond Saw. The goalkeeper wasn't having a bad game though. And he brilliantly denied the Norwegian another, producing a strong hand to turn over his powerful strike, and he did the same to keep out Matteo Kavakic's effort. However, he would be beaten a fifth time before the evening was up. Todi's heavy touch left him in trouble and his second touch was a tackle, which fell perfectly for Rodri to slip in Alvarez to do the left, hitting across himself left-footed for City's fifth and final goal. Full-time Man City 5-1 Wolves Man City Ederson, Walker, Akanji, Akestone 69, Gvardiel, Rodri, Kavakic, De Bruyne Nunes 79, Silva Doku 80, Foden Grealish 80, Holland Alvarez 82. Unused subs Ortega, Diaz, Gomez, Lewis. Wolves saw, 8 Nori, Semedo, Kilman, Todi, H Bueno S Bueno 71, Trore, Lamina Belgard 45, Gomez, Wong Chirwa 87, Cunha Serbia 76. And used subs Bentley, Doherty, Gonzalez, Okadawa, Fraser. Thanks for your watching. Don't forget to click the subscribed button and hit the bell icon for more.